supposed to have some games. So what I want to do here is just show a little bit more on the 78 Calais 4 speed. Just kind of show you guys a little bit more detail. Do some more walking around. You can see at one point this car was sold from Irwin Motors, Amarillo, Texas. I doubt if that was where the car was sold new. Because I think the car's been painted once before. You can see what happens in the, uh, the hot Texas sun. These filler panels, they just get all deteriorated. Yeah, it just comes right off, busted apart. Let me open up the uh, the door here. You guys saw in the other video how what a mess this interior is. All the mice have been living in it. Factory bucket seats. Look at the mess. Nasty, nasty. Old pillows they started tearing at, making nests. This is just disgusting. Obviously, everything in here is gonna get pitched. This car needs a whole new interior. Look up underneath that rear seat, it's just nasty. There's probably mice still in this thing. I can't even get in the trunk, so who knows what's in there too, because this car didn't come with the door key. It doesn't have a trunk release. And my Herstoles that I sold, if you check out my channel, that car, that didn't have a, a trunk key, door key either. So what I did was I unbolted the rear seat, crawled through the trunk, and unbolted the trunk lock from the inside. Then you pull the uh, then you pull the lock cylinder out, bring it to a locksmith, and they can have a key made for you. But yeah, this is a factory four-speed factory moonroof car. Check out the first video on this car. The first couple of videos, I got it filmed when it was first heading or being delivered to me, coming off the trailer, fresh from Amarillo, Texas. There's the four-speed. Very unique car, very, very rare. I don't think I've ever seen another with a four speed and a factory moonroof like that. So let me open up the hood and show you guys what's up under the hood here. There you go. It's a Chevrolet motor. Every 1978 or 79 Cutlass, if you ordered it with a four speed, you got a Chevy 305. If you wanted an Olds motor, or if you wanted the optional 5-speed, you got the Olds 260. Now the 305s came with a 2-barrel. My T-Top 4-speed 78 Supreme has a 305 2-barrel. This one here, it's, cause it's a Chevy motor. I don't know what size it's in it. I don't know if it's a 305 or a 350 because it's been out before. And the reason why I can tell that is because... That motor is orange. They are orange and these are turquoise blue from the factory. And it also has it also has a Holly carburetor on it. You can see that right there. So and someone put a four barrel intake manifold on it. Of course all the chrome that you see. So I don't know if it's a 305 or a 350, what's been done to the motor or anything. We'll see what happens when I fire it up. I don't even know if the transmission's good or if the clutch is good. But it's definitely been out and repainted orange, chromed up. So we'll find out what it is. You can see the nests, the uh, mice have been having some fun under the hood too. Look at this. All those mouse turds. That's what it looks like under the hood. It's got 17 years of 17 years of uh, barn dust. He said that that's what the entire car looked like until he washed it off. Let me give you guys a sneak peek underneath the car. Another reason why the car was uh, parked. There you go. You can see right inside the gas tank. It's got a huge hole, huge hole tore in the gas tank. It's a big dent right there. So who knows if that happened with the tow truck, if the car was backed into something. But obviously that's another reason why it was parked because you ain't got to go anywhere with no gas. 
you can see the frame is clean. Oh, look at that. Is that rubber? Got yeah, doing some burnouts with this thing. Some huge tires on it. Old tires. Look at those. Look at that tread pattern. Those are some old tires, but you can see how clean this car is. I mean, it still has. You can still see the uh, the original paint right there. There's no rust. That's why I like buying cars from the south and out west. And oh, another cool thing is this car has the old school rally wheels on it. I think they're 14 by sevens. It has the bolt-on center caps. It doesn't have the clip-on center caps. So these wheels came from an early 70s or late 60s cutlass. And with these wide tires, I can't even stick my I can't even stick my fingers in between the tire and the frame back there. But it is it's tight. It fits. So what I'll be doing with this car is I'll be filming videos as I go, just like I did with my 79 Hurst Stoles when I first bought that car and had it shipped to me. I'll put a battery in this thing, see what works, see if it cranks. I'll hook up a gas can to it and see if it fires. Make sure it has oil in it, all that good stuff. I'll prime the motor, make sure it has plenty of oil pressure. So make sure you guys subscribe to my channel, follow along with this new addition to the Classic G-Body Garage. I always have plenty of projects that I'm working on, plenty of cars that I'm working on. If you guys like G-Bodies, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Thank you.